Today, we will discuss positive Epstein Barr virus antibodies in a simple and easy to understand way. Have you ever wondered what it means when your blood test shows positive Epstein Barr virus antibodies? Let's explore why this might happen. The Epstein Barr virus is a common herpes virus, and most adults eventually show evidence of having been infected. When you're tested for EBV, we're looking for specific antibodies in your blood. These antibodies are proteins your body makes in response to the virus. They come in different types like IgM and IgG, which tell us about the timing and nature of your infection. Now there are a few reasons why your test might show positive EBV antibodies. It could indicate a recent infection, especially if you've had symptoms like fever, fatigue, or swollen glands. Sometimes it can also suggest a past infection as these antibodies can linger in your system for years. But remember, having EBV antibodies doesn't always mean you're currently sick. Most adults have these antibodies because they've encountered the virus at some point in their lives. What should you be concerned about if your test shows positive EBV antibodies? If your test results show a certain combination of these antibodies, like a positive IgM VCA and a negative IgG EBNA, it might suggest a recent acute EBV infection. This is especially true if you're experiencing symptoms like a sore throat, fever, or swollen lymph nodes. These signs combined with the test results can indicate infectious mononucleosis, often known as mono. It's crucial to take action if your symptoms are severe, like intense fatigue or significant swelling in your throat or glands, as these could impact your breathing or general health. In such cases, it's important to seek medical attention immediately for proper management and support. Curious about how doctors figure out the root cause when your EBV test comes back positive? When your EBV antibodies test is positive and we suspect a recent infection, we don't just stop there. To get a clearer picture, we might do additional tests. These can include more specific EBV antibody tests like the IgM VCA and IgG BNA to understand whether it's a new infection or something from the past. Sometimes, if the picture isn't clear or if we suspect another cause for your symptoms, we might test for other infections. These could include tests for cytomegalovirus, CMV, HIV, or Toxoplasma gondii. These tests help us rule out other conditions that might mimic an EBV infection, ensuring we provide you with the most accurate diagnosis and appropriate care. Be sure to follow up with your healthcare provider for the next step.